Gourmet Guitars, the best Luthiers DVD series. From guitar enthusiasts for guitar enthusiasts. Also ich denke, die Decke ausstechen ist die schönste Arbeit, die es, die es gibt an der Gitarre. Äh, der Boden ist dann schon ein Schweinehund, oder? Das wird dann echt streng, ist auch schön. Aber die Decke auszuschaffen, das ist so ein, ein Fluss, das ist, äh, das ist eine, eine Art Meditation. Also das ist wirklich eine wunderschöne Arbeit. Ja, yeah, I do understand that, because my really kick uh, is shaping the necks. You know, I, I do enjoy that enormously. I still carve every one of them by hand. Every one. Uh, and I like it and I enjoy it. Uh, I don't know why that is, uh, specifically, but I, 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 I can relate to how those guys feel about carving a neck like that. Während er an diesem Hals arbeitet, arbeitet er an der Gitarre, geistig. I use these um, uh, this tool, what is called a spock shave. You know, just I just get it, I work it this way, you know, and I, I enjoy that. Es ist einfach so, dass wenn man daran arbeitet, dann gibt man was in die Gitarre hinein. Und wenn man den Hals stundenlang mit der Raspel gemacht hat, den perfekt gemacht hat, dann ist es auch vollkommen klar, dass man an der Decke Stunden mehr investiert, um die fein zu tunen, dass die richtig stimmt. Das ist vollkommen logisch. No? Necks are a personal issue. Um, it's one of the things that a musician will talk to you about. Maybe as much or more than the sound of the instrument how it plays and feels. Um, and a lot of that discussion can lead you down the wrong path if you're not paying attention, because it's, it's one of the hardest things to describe, is the shape of a neck. Man is immer länger dran und mehr dran, und das macht das bessere Instrument. Was mir bei der Fahrt in den Sinn gekommen ist, wegen Benedetto oder Monteleone oder Angelico. Was ich lustig finde, dass das alles Italiener sind. But of course, you can't make archtop instruments without being Italian. <laughs> uh, the fact they are Italians, they say, well, definitely the Italians have been doing it forever. And it's, a, it's very inspiring, but Italians making mandolins and they, today making guitars. Italian people are very musical. The town that my family comes from is a tiny town. There's only 500 people in it now. At one point, it was about 35,000 before they had a couple of earthquakes, 1905 and 1930s. Um, however, that little town uh, is the same town that the Eno Mari family comes from, La Bella Strings, and the same town that the Galli family from Naples comes from. And there is still a little company there called Dorazio making strings by hand that my family worked for in the 1860s. So uh, it was a string making town, it's a tiny little town and it was known for its string making. Die Italiener, das sind Gefühlsmenschen. Ich denke, das ist jetzt auch alles anders durch die ganze Globalisierung, oder? I think it's important for people to, to still hold on to their cultures, to preserve them. I think they're an endangered species these days, cultures are. Uh, with the uh, evolution and development of modern technology, um, the, the oneness of man, the universality of everything, tends to make everything look more the same. So that's wherever you go or travel, things tend to kind of look similar from where you came from. Uh, where not so long ago, you, some years back, uh, you could go somewhere and, and know that you were definitely in a foreign place. 
and the culture is, is very distinctively different. Uh, it's important to, to look back at some of these things and uh, the ability to express yourself and to be, to, to be able to create uh, new ideas, personal ideas, statements, Uh, expressions is an invaluable thing. Ich mag mich noch erinnern, als ich als Kind in Italien immer war, oder? Da, da, da wurde nur Musik gemacht. The Italian family was uh, a cohesive unit um, that was uh, transcended generations. You know, you would have in one household several generations of the family living there, or you would go to relatives' houses and celebrate on weekends the Sunday dinners and all that sort of thing. Nowadays, that doesn't happen so much. Uh, but certainly it did then, and it, chances were good in those days that part, a good part of your family came from Italy. Und ich denke, das hat sehr viel damit zu tun, dass einfach im, im letzten oder vorletzten Jahrhundert viele Italiener ausgewandert waren und dort das Handwerk importierten und vor allem einfach auch die Ohren importierten ins Land, oder mit dem Gefühl, wie man etwas macht. Working with your hands in creating things was not uncommon to Italian households, I think. As far as violins go, you know, the great violin makers came from Italy as well. So it's kind of a tradition. I mean, Mario McAfee was making first violins and then guitars, you know, and he was a great classical guitarist as well. Um, he learned his uh, guitar making in Italy as well. It's a celebration of, a, of the, the beauty and, and sound. I know that New York has had a good influence on me, and I know it's had that influence on D'Angelico and the Quisto, of course. I'm so in love from the moment I put my foot in this, in this city. It's a lot of culture in New York. It's an incredible, uh, you know, buildings and history, and in this particular case, uh, guitars, which is an incredible, you know. Um, the ambiance of a neighborhood uh, or the things that surround you as a, a young person are impressionable. And if, if it's a vibrant society and surrounding that you're living in at the time, that, that has to have some influence on you. Gourmet Guitars, the best Luthiers DVD series. From guitar enthusiasts for guitar enthusiasts.